Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I'm here with a review of Dockerpon Kingdom Connect on the Nintendo Switch. Now, this is a remaster of the original Dockerpon Kingdom game that was released on the PS2 and we back in sort of 2007-2008 time. It's been ported over to the Switch with improved graphics and online connectivity as well as also being ported over to pc now this game is a sort of hybrid board game mixed with role-playing game so imagine sort of mario party meets like rpgs like turn-based battles like final fantasy but while also trying to beat other players it's crazy it's mad but it's a hell of a good time. Now, basically the story of the game is simple. You play the game in a place called Dockerpon Kingdom. And this kingdom is being attacked by a whole host of monsters. And basically all the people are poor. They can't pay their taxes. So the king offers his daughter, Princess Penny, to the player who collects the most money by the end of the game so they have to save the kingdom earn the most money and they get to marry his daughter now that sounds crazy silly but honestly it's a fun little game for up to four players so what you do is you spin like a wheel you don't roll a dice you spin like a, a spinner move a set number of spaces and depending on what kind of space you land on something happens maybe it's a battle maybe you get like improvements and stuff like that new spells and attacks and everything and that's how it goes bit by bit now the game is filled with funny enjoyable sort of npcs that you can meet along the way and it's a weird one like I really like sort of things like Mario Party and stuff like that. And this one, like I say, it's shown its age a little bit. You can tell this is a early sort of mid-2000s game with a, just a fresh coat of paint. But it's one of those games that's so weird and wonderful, it's well worth playing. So you can pick your hero. You can sort of choose what they look like. You give them a job like a class. You give them gear and you get skill points and everything. It's crazy. Now, it'll also end friendships as you progress. Like I say, it'll get crazy, silly and heated at times. So don't play it with your loved ones. Play it with your friends because you can always get new friends. But you don't always want a divorce. Now, the game is priced at a grand total of $44.99 on Switch. So maybe wait for a sale unless you're a big fan of the series. It was released onto the Switch on the 8th of the 5th, 2023 from publisher Reef Entertainment. And I was lucky enough to be sent a copy of this game to review. So big thank you to them for that. Now, not only can you play this online, you can play this offline. And you can also play this locally on the Switch by like connecting multiple switch devices over like LAN, which is a really cool thing. And the game also sports five different game modes across this giant game board. So you've got your normal, you've got a story mode, you've got a shopping race, a kill race, and a town race. So each of them focus on different goals, basically, depending on what you're wanting to play. You can choose from 11 different job classes and stuff like that. And they've done a great job. But like I say, it, it won't keep you sort of playing forever because the gameplay will get repetitive after a few hours. But it's definitely one of those games you can pick up and play for like a couple of hours at a time at a party or with your friends around. Have an absolute laugh and then pick it up again next time they come around or something like that. I wouldn't recommend playing it um, on your own a lot. It's not great against the AI. But with friends, it absolutely shines. But anyway, that's that for this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you soon for more content. Bye for now.